2015, glaucoma was the third most common issue that resulted in sight loss or blindness in Scotland, and it also accounted for about 20% of referrals to secondary eye care clinics. So these were two reasons why a sign guideline was developed, and it was published in 2015. And then in 2017, we decided it might be useful to find out how the guideline was being used and the impact it had made over the last two years. What we found was a year after the guideline, NAIRS ran a series of training programs throughout Scotland directly related to a need that was identified in the guideline. We also found the number of audits that had been run by secondary care clinics that were directly related to the guideline. And finally, we were asked to co-facilitate a workshop at the NAIRS Community Optometry Conference in 2017. What we found from all of this work was that the accuracy and completeness of referrals from community optometrists to secondary care clinics had improved and that first visit discharge rates had also improved. What community optometrists themselves told us was that they had increased their measurement and reporting of key parameters and that their confidence had increased with regards to patient management and decision making. Three of the learnings from this work included encouraging community optometrists to uh, refer to the sign guideline and to review the completeness and accuracy of their referrals. For any authors of uh, audits related to the guideline to share the results of that work locally. And finally, for community and secondary care based eye specialists to look for ways to share information and improve communication across the interface. Thank you.